Who doesn't like a good party? Organising one can oftentimes be hellish. Who should you invite? What if you can't invite a lot of people? Will your guests mingle with each other? What's the right blend between friends and strangers? And God forbid you plan a party straight out of the silent film era. Well, according to mathematicians, there can be a way to throw the best party ever. And yes, as it turns out, mathematicians are capable of partying. So here's the problem. I want at least X people to be friends, or at least Y people to be strangers at my party. What is the minimum number of guests that I should invite? Well, we'll start with a simple case. Let's ask ourselves, how many people must be invited to a party so that we can guarantee that there's a group of three people who are either all friends or all strangers? Let's also assume we want to invite the minimum number of people to this party because we would like to spend as little money as possible. The answer is six people. Why might you ask? What's best if we show you? Let's consider six people, say Alice, Bob, Claire, Dan, Ella and Frank. There are 15 lines between the six people representing each of their relationships, whether they're friends or strangers. There are 32,768 different possible combinations. We are claiming that there is always either at least a trio of friends or a trio of strangers. Let's have a look at all the different combinations of relationships that Alice can have with the other partygoers. There are zero friends and five strangers, one friend, four strangers, two friends, three strangers, three friends, two strangers, four friends, one stranger, and five friends, zero strangers. So no matter the situation, Alice must be either friends or strangers with at least three other people. Let's say she's friends with Bob, Claire and Dan. If any of Bob and Claire, or Bob and Dan, or Claire and Dan are friends, then we will have a trio of three friends and the problem is solved. So we will assume that none of Bob, Claire and Dan are friends, but then we have a trio of three strangers. A similar situation applies for the other way around if Alice doesn't know Bob, Claire or Dan. So six people is enough to solve our problem, but can we save even more money while still throwing the best party ever by inviting fewer people? The short answer is no, and let's see why. If only five people come, then we can't guarantee anything. This so-called party problem, formerly known as the maximum clique problem, is thought of as a straightforward way of helping people understand a well-known theorem in mathematics, the Ramsey theorem. And no, Ramsey is not a famous party planner. Ramsey, born in 1903, was a British philosopher, mathematician and economist who made a tremendous impact on a certain field of mathematics or graph theory. Now, you might be wondering, I want a bigger party. What if I want four people to be mutual friends or strangers? How many people should I invite to my party then? This is proving to be 18. How might you ask? Well, look up Ramsey numbers and you'll be blown away.